triathlon training while traveling. And that actually means day 12 in Czech. And what a day it was day 12. To kick things off, we decided to go out for a little splash, a little dip in the lake. And I actually thought that the current was going from left to right. And so I started my swim going left because then I thought, you know, I would have the current going with me on the way back. But uh, I soon found out that that was not the case and it made for a very slow second half to the swim. It was actually going in the opposite direction. But after we toweled off and we saved that swim, I think I did three and a half thousand yards this morning. I was feeling pretty good actually. It was time to do some work. And here I am doing some athlete check-ins and laughing at what one of my great friends and athletes, Brian, said. He had to finish his run early because I believe he wrote that he had lasagna in his oven and he didn't want to burn down his house. Thankfully, thankfully, he did manage to get back in time and his house was not burnt down. But after we finished doing some work, some athlete check-ins, we got in our coffee, got in some protein as well. And then we were off to finish the final bike ride of this trip. And boy, was it gonna be a banger. I loaded up the course on my Garmin and we were off. And look at these views. What's that word I like to say? Absolutely stunning. Almost as stunning as this Ferrari that yes, I did in fact end up passing, you know, cause I'm just that kind of athlete. I pass Ferraris. Ferraris don't pass me. Now, after we passed that Ferrari, we saw some more, you already know what I'm gonna say, stunning views. And then we crossed the border from Switzerland back into Italy, thank God, because now I could use the euros that my dad gave me to buy some much needed food and fuel. And here you can actually see my performance condition. It was positive five, plus five. That's the first time I've seen a positive performance condition since I left Canada, I think like a month ago. And then we were getting a little bit tired, so I decided to take in a gel, a fast food gel. If you wanna see the full review of this, then check out my Instagram where I post all of my gel reviews. And then I came across this biker. We actually ended up biking together for quite a bit of time. And I think we, I may have found him on Strava. I'm not sure if it was this guy or another guy. I ran into later on during the bike ride. But then you can see we came across the biggest climb of the day. Over 1,200 feet of climbing in under three and a half miles. Oh, it was wow. steep. I went all out. I put the pedal to the metal for this climb. I didn't get any clips of me dying during the climb, but here I am at the very end of the climb. Man, I was drenched in sweat. I was hurting. I think I hit a new 20 minute power PR and heart rate PR, all the PRs. But after that climb, I needed the carbs in me ASAP. So I ended up taking two gels, a Gatorade one and a power gel one. You already know what I'm gonna say. Check out my Instagram for the full reviews of both of these gels. But as you can see, the views from the top of the climb, well, you already know what I'm gonna say. They were S-T-U-N-N-I-N-G, stunning. And then after we climbed all that way up, you know what it was time for? To go all the way back down. It was quite a fun time. Here I am near the end of the ride. I had to grab another banana, so I stopped. Or not another banana, this was my first banana of the ride. I needed to grab more carbs, that's what I meant to say. But yeah, I made a quick pit stop, grabbed the banana, and before you knew it, we were home. I made sure to save that ride so I could save that 20 minute PR in my Training Peaks account. And then because we had such a big ride, I needed to get the protein in me ASAP. And because I didn't have my BPN Performance protein powder, I had the next best thing, which was Italian ham. So here I am eating my Italian ham. And then because this was the last ride of the trip, we had to go back to the bike store in return, drop off the bike. So here I am biking back to the bike store. And by now we were absolutely destroyed. As you can see, a negative 11 performance condition. And that was pretty accurate. I definitely felt like a negative 11. But then because I had the best parents in the world, they drove and met me there and they gave me my run clothes so I could run back. Now I didn't take my phone with me, so I don't have a video of me running, but I'll just insert a clip of what I looked like when I was running back. Now after that run, we were hot, we were sweaty, we were exhausted, but because I am a triathlete and because I swam 3,500 yards in the morning and I have some serious OCD issues, I wanted to swim another 500 so I could hit 4K on the day. So here I am splashing around in the open water and man, it felt absolutely incredible. Just did 500 yards to wrap it all 
up. Hope you guys enjoyed yet another triathlon training while traveling episode. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you need to do. Here's a little clip of dinner as well. It was another very tasty dinner. Man, the food here has been just as incredible as the training, I'll tell you that much. But make sure to come back tomorrow so you don't miss out on day 13. We're going to be headed back to Austria, Germany, and then the Czech Republic. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more adventures.